Well, I've been having some back pain and shoulder pain. Okay. And it's like I have a desk job, so I sit a lot. Mm -hmm. And then when I come home to try to get rid of the pain from sitting, I'll like get up and be active as much as I can. And mm -hmm. then I'm still sore and tense. Okay. Where does your back hurt? Is it low back, mid back? It's low back and then kind of like up here in my shoulders, upper back area. Okay. Where does it hurt the most? It depends. Um, at night, it hurts a lot on my upper back when I sleep. Mm -hmm. And then like during the day when I'm just walking around, it's like lower back. Okay. Which pain has been there longer? Lower back. Lower back. Yeah. How long have you had it? A couple years. A couple years. Yeah. Was there like an accident or an injury or something that happened at the beginning? No, just gradual. Gradual, okay. Have you done anything for it yet? Have you ever seen a chiropractor or have you ever physical therapy? No, I've gotten massages before and I do a self-massage mm -hmm. sometimes, but it doesn't really have any long-term effects. Okay. Does it help for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. What is the pain like? Is it burning, sharp, dull? It's dull. It's... It's really gradual. It's not sudden, like some days it's mm -hmm. worse than others, but okay. it's it's nothing like totally unbearable. It's just always there. Okay. <clears throat> Do you ever have any pain down your legs? I have, but it mostly went away. Okay. Where did it, when was that? Um a few months ago. I might have had sciatica, but I'm not totally sure. Okay. Tell me about it. Where was the pain? It was it started in my low back and then it would go down to my knee. Let's see, so you've never been adjusted and you used to get massaged. Do you ever have to take any over-the-counters? Like, do you ever try an Advil or an ibuprofen or anything yeah, like that? to sleep mostly. To sleep, yeah. because the pain is bothering you yeah. and then so you take it to go to sleep. And yeah. that's your low back or your shoulders? Mm, sometimes both. Okay, it could be either. Okay, so you've never been to a chiropractor before. How do you feel about it? Are you nervous? Excited? Um. I'm nervous, especially the neck cracks kind of freak me out a little bit, but okay. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go nice and slow, and I'll walk you through the whole process, and we'll make sure you're relaxed when we do it, and there's usually never any pain associated with those adjustments, so it's not going to hurt. Okay. Okay? It looks like it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It does look like it hurts, but I mean, for all the uh, for all the videos that you've seen of neck adjustments, I mean, how many have you seen where people say "ouch" or "that hurt" or? Not a lot. Yeah, it's because it doesn't hurt most of the time. I also hunch a lot, and I'm trying to fix that, but it's still like something I have to think. Oh my about. god! Like, oh, look at that! It's so much work, though. Like I could uh, slouch, and it's like yeah. I don't know. It's a lot harder to sit straight when you have your uh, when you have your legs crossed like oh. this too, because it just you're now your now your body automatically wants to throw you off. So like yeah, that's good. It's habit. Mm -hmm. It definitely you know what that's all posture is. It's habit and it's a mindfulness of your body. And at the end of the day, when I'm really tired and I've worked a lot, like you know I might be sitting at the computer and I'm just like, okay, now it's time to go to bed. You yeah. know what I mean? Or I need to sit <laughs> into another chair where I. But like yeah. this takes effort. And uh, in the beginning, especially, but the more that you practice, the stronger your postural muscles get. The yeah. most important thing, Beth, is that you're aware of it. You said, I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. And so that's it. That's the key right there. As long as you want to do it, then it just takes practice. Yeah. But getting adjusted is actually an important part of that process too, because when your body is stuck, when the joints aren't moving through their full range of motion, mm -hmm. It costs more energy to keep you upright in the gravitational field. And so if you're using more energy, then your body's fatigued. And so, you know, your, your muscles are getting tired. It's harder to hold yourself up. But once all of the joints are manipulated and everything's moving in its full range of motion, then your body works more efficiently and your body uses less energy, which means you have more energy available for sitting up straight. All right, so let's do this. Let's start off with an exam on your spine and then I'll get you adjusted and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, looking at the feet first. Go ahead and go that way. A little bit of flattening on the right side, mild to moderate flattening on the left as well. Good. Going back this way, shoulders. Looks like a high left shoulder. Arm swing is normal, even on both sides. Looks like a high right hip balancing the left shoulder. We'll go back one more time. Let's see. 
you know, very close in the hip and the hip swing looks even on both sides. So I'm gonna start off with a scan of your spine, very gentle, right on top. Okay, I'm going to do a temperature assessment now at the back of my hands. The muscles on the right side of your spine are, are very overactive compared to the left side of your spine here. It's almost like you have a little bit of a rotation here. And then I can see this, this hunching forward is coming out in your thoracic, thoracic spine. Just a little bit though, Beth. It's not like a whole lot. But we'll, we'll have to work on like this, like getting the shoulders back thing. Yep. Okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the muscles now. Tender? Yeah. Tender. A little bit. It's very tense. The muscles here are very tight. Any tenderness here? No. Any tenderness here? No. Any tenderness here? A little bit. Any tenderness here? No. Okay, so you're going to feel that my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings Tracing these up to the top, we've got lower on the right, and then looking from the top view, it's more externally rotated on the right, so possible PIEX on the right, and, or an ASIN on the left. We'll have to say right side tenderness, so we're looking at the right SI joint, slight rotation in the lumbar spine here. Touch your toes, and then checking for any curvatures here. We do have some of some what looks like rib humping on the right side here. There is an asymmetry. Let your head relax. There is an asymmetry on Adam's test.
Okay, I'm gonna push down onto your sacrum. Is there any pain when I push like this, Beth? No. Any pain here when I push like that? A little bit. Where, does it hurt underneath my hand or higher up in your back? Like the bony spot. Like the, right there? Yeah. Okay. Any pain there? No. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Got a nice gentle breathing. Mm -hmm. Tender? Yeah. Tender? Yeah. Ooh. This is tender in here. Oh, it's tender.
nice gentle breathing. Let your back relax. You okay? Mm So what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you breathe out, just let your whole body sink into the table. I'm gonna follow your breath like this. And at the end of your breath, we have a little push. Things are already starting to crack. So that tells me that they're, they're ready to go. Okay, we're gonna start with this guy right here. Nice and gentle breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, following you down, Lewis, gentle, gentle. Okay, right in the mid T thoracic spine here. Same thing, breathing in. Good, end out. Good, shoulders relax, just kind of sink. I didn't know it was gonna be like multiple cracks, thought it was gonna be like one crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just kind of depends. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try one like this. This one we push at the top of your in-breath. You're gonna breathe all the way in, and then when you get to the top of your breath, that's when we'll give a little push. Okay. So do that, go ahead and breathe all the way in. All the far in as you can go, and then let your shoulders drop as you breathe out. Good. Okay. Bring your hands down behind your neck, good. Okay, so we're gonna slouch forward like this. You're gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, we'll lean back, hold the slouch, okay? You breathe in and out. All the way down. Good. Keep coming down. <laughs> that was beautiful. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, so what we're going to do, just like the other ones, I'm going to follow your breath, okay? As you breathe in, as you breathe out, we're just going to follow your breath down like this and then push like that at the end of your breath, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, breathing in and out. Good. Let the shoulders relax. Good. Hang back. So I'm gonna adjust your L5 right here. Same thing, as you breathe out, just let your shoulders come up. I'm gonna bring your hips down and give a little push, okay? Okay, breathe in and out. Go, let this go. Good. <sighs> Laying back. Uh, go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Now to the left. Back to center. Right atlas, left atlas. Okay, bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Center. Left ear, left shoulder. Center. Okay, nice and gentle. Just loosening up your neck.
Let it go. Let your head relax. Let your head go. Let your head and shoulders relax. Good, let it go. Good, so breathing. Good, gently. I'm gonna bring your head over to the side and push in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice and gentle. Go, let it all relax, loosey goosey. Mm -hmm. How's that? Good. Didn't hurt, right? No. Testing, seven, six, five, four. It's so all at the top, let this kind of sink in. Same thing, following your breath. Breathing, good. Good, let this relax, just kind of sink in, Beth. Good, let it go, good. Let this go, good. One more. All right, so let's do ileocecal valve here. So we find the two points, then we trace a line in between. Yeah. Okay, breathe into your belly. Fill your belly up with air. And out. Again, in. And out. In. And out. And the pyloric sphincter, this is where the stomach empties into the small intestine.
Breathe into your belly. Good. Keep doing that. Out. In. Out. Keep going in. Out. In. Out. In. And out. In. Okay, so what I'm going to do is support your cervical spine with this towel, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use the towel to just create some traction in that direction. Okay. Some nice and gentle breathing. Just kind of breathing softly. You can close your eyes, nothing to look at. And then we're going to pull in this direction. Deep breath in and out. How's that? Good. Did you feel it all the way down? Did you low back? Um, I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> felt it in my neck. Okay, let's do one more. Head down, head relaxed. One more breathing in and out. Relax, relax, relax. This gal is Deco. Look straight ahead. Number two, now lean forward. Good. Wow. Tender? No. Tender? No. How's that? Good. Didn't hurt, right? No.